hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be looking at the guidelines for school-based assessment which is SBA for the SBAs as mentioned in previous video we have to do a minimum of 18 labs or practicals and in doing these 18 18 labs you have seven mandatory topics that are proposed by CXC. Now, these mandatory topics simply means that from the 18 labs that you will do uh, in the SBAs, you must conduct an experiment or demonstration that involves these seven topics. The seven topics are ecological study so that would be you know food chain food web observing um, interactions in the environment those are some examples and you have molecular movement so that would be osmosis or diffusion and that comes under the syllabus topic cells right you have photosynthesis slash respiration so you you need to cover labs that speak to photosynthesis as well as respiration or you could do either or you need to do labs that talk about food tests and that will fall on the nutrition which would be heterotrophic nutrition right so you're testing for different macromolecules so fats fats starch protein you also need to do labs regarding growth in particular germination so that must be done as well the sixth lab is nutrition and disease so you need to do a lab that is centered around diseases and nutrition so for example they could look at how diseases are spread and usually this could be done in the form of a planning and designing lab just food for thought it doesn't have to be and the final suggested or mandatory topic is genetics so you must cover those seven topics. Let me go again just to make sure we all get it. So that's ecologist, ecological study, diffusion osmosis, which would be molecular movements in um, uh, cells. And then we look at photosynthesis slash respiration. We look at food tests. We look at germination and nutrition and disease followed by genetics. Those are the seven mandatory topics. So make sure in your 18 labs that you do, you must do a lab relating to these topics. In addition to doing the labs, there are skills that you are being graded for. So there are five skills, five skills. And these skills include manipulation and measurement. We look at observation, re recording and reporting, planning and designing, analysis and interpretation and drawing these are the five skills that we will be grading the practicals on now just to to explore a little bit more in these skills right in year one as we mentioned in the content overview for the syllabus it is proposed to be covered in a two-year period so in year one there are certain skills that are assessed for, and in year two, you also have skills being assessed. Now, in year one, all five skills are assessed, which would be manipulation and measurement, observation, recording and reporting, planning and designing, analysis and interpretation, and drawing. All five skills are explored in year one and assessed in year one. In year two, only four of the five skills are assessed all except the drawing so drawing is only assessed in year one which means that as educators we have to make sure that we try to get as many drawing labs done in year one as much as possible because that's where the drawings will be assessed right so in total the final score for your sba is 90 marks so from that 90 marks, how do you end up with 90 marks? So you can have a maximum of 10 points for each skill, right? So 10 for m and 10 for ORR, 10 for PD, 10 for drawing, and 10 for AI. Now, 
how do you get the, the the 90 marks so each skill is being graded at a maximum of 10 marks right which means that for year one and year two you will combine those two so you would you of course in the schools you have select labs that students will be graded on of course the first lab is not wise to grade the students on their first lab usually not wise because you want to give them that opportunity to produce the best quality labs so you give them feedback so they can perfect the other labs now that's the essence of working um, in school with this SBA so you can provide the best uh, feedback possible for the students to learn and move on from there right so you will select your specific labs average those labs to make sure you get it out of 10 because you will combine year one and year two in order to get a maximum of 20 points right and we will show you on screen the table format of what i'm explaining to you right now so we have 10 marks for year one for analysis and interpretation 10 marks for year two as well what you do, you average your year one AI, average your year two AI, if you have more than one, and then you will add both year one and year two together to get the 20 marks. But remember, drawing is only assessed in year one, which means you would not have a grade for year two. So you would end up with 20 maximum points for four skills and 10 for drawing. That makes it 90. So the student have the opportunity to score a maximum of 90 marks on their SBA. Good. Now, in addition to all of these five skills, we have to bear in mind when grading these in-school labs, these SBAs, you cannot, as recommended by CXC, or you must not grade or observe two, more than two skills. So a student can conduct an experiment, a practical lab that has the possibility of, of um, having three skills being observed. So you can do, let's say they were doing respiration, right? And they did a respiration lab. You can grade them for m and if they're conducting and setting up apparatus or measuring something. You can grade them for ORR. That's how the lab is format, how they write up the lab you know grammar outline make sure everything is in order and you can also grade them for analysis and interpretation which would be in their discussion now as recommended by cxc in the syllabus it is present in the syllabus no more than two skills must be graded for each practical so even though i can grade a maximum of three skills based on the lab being done I must not observe for more than two. So it simply means from the three that I recommended for respiration, you will only grade two of the three. So it can be ORR and AI, or it can be MNM AI, or it can be ORR MNM. So you can decide what skill you are grading for, but it cannot be more than two at any point in time for any practical lab that will be done. And those are the recommendations from CXC. So summary points, max a minimum of 18 practical, no more than two skills to be observed for any practical and seven mandatory topics must be covered for these practicals. So please bear these simple things in mind as your guideline to conduct or you know go through your school-based assessment. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.